Today we're going to look at how to set up a custom funnel for your WordPress WooCommerce website using WP Funnel so you can customize the experience when selling your products online. Okay, so I've installed and activated the free WP Funnels plugin and straight away we're met with this screen here which kind of helps you get set up. And you can see here we've got funnel types, either a sales or a lead generation funnel. And if I go to install WooCommerce, I've already got it installed so I don't have to worry about that. Um, but I do need uh, so cart lift. Now it seems to be that I can't have one without the other so I'm just going to leave them both ticked for now and click next. And now I'm going to choose my builder type. I tend to use the Divi theme a lot and if there's anything that pops up I may end up referring to it from the Divi theme perspective. Uh, but generally speaking whatever builder type you're using you can choose that for your website and then click next. No you can install Elementor I believe even if you aren't using a builder already. You can choose different permalink setups. I'm just going to go with the default permalink and everything here I'm pretty much happy with. So I'm going to go next and it says that you're ready. So I'm going to go to start creating funnels now. You can see here on the left, we now have WP funnels with a funnel section and I can now create my first funnel. Before I get stuck into that, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to just quickly tab over and show you a few things we have set up. So I have this product, which is 50 tips to win it, win it life. It's just a basic product I've put together for the sake of the video. It's obviously not real, but I've set it up as a digital product and uh, basically we've got that and that's going to be the upsell. Then we have this super secrets ebook, another fake product I've set up for the video, uh, $89, something that you can buy and a digital download on this pretend site that I've got set up. And I'm going to head back to funnels now and we're going to create our first funnel. Obviously it's add new funnel up here or create your first funnel. I'm going to click create first funnel and I can start from scratch. Now we have hit a bit of a snag here. I've chosen Divi, but it seems to say that Divi isn't actually active, which is, so I'm gonna go back into settings. Well, it says Elementor isn't active, so it has held some incorrect settings there. So I need to go back into my settings. It's got Page Builder Elementor. So I'm gonna have to change that over to the Divi Builder, hit save. And then I'm gonna sync templates just to be on the safe side. So a little bit of a snag, but that's all good. We head back into overview, create our first funnel. And now I've got all these templates. And you notice that some of these say import and some of them don't because we need pro to access some of these templates. So for now, I'm just gonna go with the first template which is change your life today and click import. Now it does take a minute or so to actually import, but once you get there, you can start actually editing the template. Okay, so we've imported our layout and you can see we've got these little steps here. So it's actually kind of like a visual flow you can use to set up bits and pieces and sort of guide people through a funnel like a marketing funnel. So the first thing is I've got this landing page. If I click the little eyeball here, it brings up the page and I can edit it using the builder I have installed. So because I have the Divi builder installed, I can go in and make changes. So you can see I can go in and change this image. Maybe I want to change it to the product image that I have. I can change the text and basically do whatever I would normally do with the builder I have installed, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to exit this and I'm going to save. Now I have a bunch of videos on the Divi Builder if you're interested in checking that out as well. We'll pop a link in the description below. I'm gonna close this tab down, go back to our funnel. And you see here we've got Pro Beta. Uh, I can't do A and B testing without Pro Beta. I have a checkout which I can go in and actually make some changes to. And there's a bunch of settings here under Pro which I can't turn on. So I'm actually going to activate Pro and come back to this page. And we're gonna keep going from there. So now if I, I've got my license activated, I go back into funnels and you can see my funnel here, I can come back and edit it at any time. So I'm gonna click a little pencil icon and now I can start editing with the pro features. So I go into my checkout now, click on the cog and now I can make changes to my checkout. So the products, I can add in a product. So if someone has decided to go through from my landing page through to step two, now I can add in my product. So I start searching, which is super secrets, which is that just a fake product I created. And I can add that product in to here. Now I can do things such as allow the use of a coupon. I don't want to allow quantity because it's a digital download. And maybe I want to add a discount, but I'm not I'm going to leave it just at normal price for now. What I can also do is add an order bump, however, and go add order bump, find a product. So I can just say, uh, I can change the auto bump color if I want to, to this green color, search for a product. 
50 tips to win at life. You get one of these and you can add in some information about this. So, and I can add in a discount type, a percentage of 50%. And I can make any changes to these to further customize my order bump. So that way it's like an additional order people can actually check in and receive, receive when they place their order. I'm gonna click, grab this offer with one click, save changes, close out. So we've got order bump, check out. I'm actually gonna go back in for a second because there's something I wanna show you as well. You can actually edit fields. Now these are all digital products. So I've got all these fields in here, I'll zoom out. I've got my first name, last name, company, country. I don't think we need any of those apart from maybe first name and last name. So let's go first name, last name. We'll turn off the company name. We'll turn off billing country. We don't even need the last name because it's just a digital product. We don't need the address. We can turn off a whole bunch of these settings and really simplify the billing section. So that way all they need to do is insert, is put their name in there and they can make the purchase. No need to fill out all the so details that they need for address shipping. So if I go into shipping fields, I can do the same again. We don't need any shipping whatsoever. So I'm gonna turn all of this stuff off. Now, if you had a physical product, you'd wanna keep these turned on. There's also some additional fields, order comments. I would leave that on there because that, you know, if you want people to leave, to leave comments, then you can leave that on there or you can turn it off. You can even add a field if you want to. So that way, if you want to actually have some other bit of information that they have to add, you can click add a field and further customize that way. And then we go to our thank you page. And we can show the order overview, a thank you page redirection. So if you actually want to build another page, you can click on this and redirect it to a certain URL and you can actually redirect after or instead of the thank you page. So you can create a thank you page and even set up something such as uh, an opt-in form for an email newsletter or something like that, or even just someone get in contact, leave a review on your product. You can put all that in there, create a thank you page and just simply redirect to it when you're done. I'm gonna save changes. Now it doesn't just stop there. This is a very basic funnel. You can customize this as well. So I can actually add in steps, conditions and integrations if I add in a step, I can choose a step from here if I want to, or I can add in a condition. So I'll pop this condition in. I can click on the arrow and drag to there, and then I click on true, drag to here, and I can also set up another thank you page if I want to. So I go back in, add a step, I can add another upsell. I can add a custom page, which means I can build a page from scratch with a completely different setup. I can build another landing page. So I'm gonna actually build say a second thank you page just for the hell of it. Although we'll go custom and start from scratch. And we're just gonna call this one. And I've got this, it's kind of just floating around. I can pop it here. I grab this and drag over to here. So I can actually set up a different thank you. So if I click on this and click on the little I symbol, so I have a blank custom page here. So if I go to enable visual builder, I can go in and build my own thank you page for say a different condition on the funnel, which if I, which I'm not gonna go into now, if you wanna learn the Divi Builder, there is a uh, link in the description below. But if I exit this, Essentially, I can create two pages, one for if they accept the upsell and say thank you for purchasing, say this and the upsell, or I can say, hey, thank you for purchasing the one thing. So I can have two separate thank you pages and I can build them uh, custom pages for each condition because the false means they didn't accept it and true means that they did. But there's actually also other steps. I can add in another step such as a downsell. Once again, I can start from scratch or I can actually use this here, I'm gonna import. So now I have this down cell, which is kind of just floating around. What I can do is now I can add in another condition. So maybe what I do instead is I move this extra thank you over, put this in here, and I redraw this line to the down cell. So that way, if they haven't purchased the order bump, I offer something even cheaper. So I can go in here, and I can add in a different product. So maybe it's a consultation call, which I think I have on this site as a, an example. 
and I can add in a discount percentage. Maybe I offer it at 60%. Maybe it's a lot cheaper, something like that. So I can go through and add in a bunch of different offers and save changes. So depending on what they choose, if they choose the upsell or not, I can offer different things. So I save that and exit. And now I can even add in more conditions if I want to. It's gonna get, you don't wanna to get too complicated with this process, but you sort of get the idea. So now I hit here, downsell is accepted. So now I go from the downsell to here. If it's accepted, I go to this. If it's not, I can then go to yet another custom page. I can add it over here and you sort of get the idea. So I'll quickly add one in just for the sake of the video. You can see we've got a relatively complicated uh, funnel here, but uh, it, it's still a pretty powerful program. I wouldn't necessarily recommend having it this complicated, but it just shows you all the options you can have. You can literally create these flows depending on what people buy, what they upsell, what they sort of what they take. Um, you can get some pretty cool results. So this has already been saved as we go. So let's go and check it out. So we're on our page here. I haven't customized it as much as I normally probably would, but to give you an idea, that's essentially how it works. I click get it now. And you can see we've only got basic billing details on here. My name, phone, email, so we can email information through. Phone, I probably don't even necessarily want on there, but that's not a big deal. And I can add in some information. So there's very little I actually have to fill out in order to purchase this. So, And this is completely separate from the normal checkout on your WooCommerce. It actually creates its own sort of like checkout area for that offer, which is really cool. And I decide I want to take this. I'm going to go grab this offer with one click. And you can see, instead of paying just 89, I've got this 50% off 27.50 added to my total here. Uh, I'm going to choose cash on delivery, which is just something I've set up so I can do these videos without having to pay for anything. But uh, obviously, you know, if you want PayPal or whatever, that's all there. It's all part of WooCommerce. Uh, I'm going to say I've read the terms and conditions and agree, and I'm going to place my order. I've added in a fake phone number, an email, my real email, place the order, and our order's been received. And as I said before, we've also got another funnel with a different setup. So I'm actually gonna quickly switch back and edit that so we can check that out as well. Now, if I don't accept the upsell, I can go into my downsell area here. I've got a different product. And then I've got a custom extra thank you page, which I'm going to quickly just enable the visual builder. So I've set up this basic page just quickly now to say thank you for booking a call, email me to book time. I don't know if you'd want to do this. You probably want to have something like Calendly set up if you're going to do that. But this is just something for our funnel. I'm going to click save. So now this time we go in, we get our book. This time we don't accept the upsell and we have all the same information. I'm going to click this and place the order. It says here, wait before you finish, here's a special offer. Obviously, you would go through and customize this page. We haven't actually customized it, but you can see how now we have this different offer available to us and we can actually book that call. Now, I haven't set that up properly, but you sort of get the idea of how that works. If you take the time to go through, you can set these pages up and set up a really cool little funnel with different products and bits and pieces. So uh, I do highly recommend checking that out. Now, I just wanted to actually come back to this for a second. Uh, this is after I've finished the video. Uh, I actually didn't add the product in properly before. So now if I go into my settings, I type in my consult product, I click add product, and then I can go save changes. And that's actually why we didn't get a, uh, an image before. And I can view this, so I can come back to this product, add it to my order, and I get that thank you page that we were looking for earlier. Just wanted to add that little fix in there so you know exactly how that works. Uh, pretty straightforward and easy to set up. Now, if I actually tab back, there is also a section here called integrations. If I click on that, I actually can't add any integrations at the moment, but you can choose certain CRMs. If I switch over to the WP Funnels website, there are a few, if, as long as you get the WP Funnels integration plugin, uh, which will, this is basically available in your dashboard after you make purchase pro, there's a few different things such as ActiveCampaign, MailChimp, Constant Contact. Uh, so you can actually 
integrate a whole bunch of CRMs into this so that way you can then make further use of this software and build your, so your CRM software database as well. Now also coming back to the settings, if I come back here and go back here and exit, I go into settings. There's some basic settings here you can go in and check out. There's offer settings, things like that, but there's also event tracking. So you can use the Facebook pixel if you're marketing with Facebook, or you can add in your Google tag manager. And there is a few settings in here you can have a look at if that sort of, you add in recapture if you're wanting to protect from certain things, or you can even roll back. There's actually a few good features also on top of just the actual funnel itself. So the funnel itself I find is, it's pretty cool, and it's a great way to improve how your offer goes when you're trying to sell things online, especially off particular landing pages. Um, otherwise, there's a few other nice settings in it as well, just to integrate it to other bits and pieces of software to make it a more complete experience when you're actually using this to sell. So uh, if you wanna check out WP Funnels, check out the link in the description below. There is a free version, like I said, limited use, and then the pro version, which we've activated, where you get more layouts and options. Uh, pretty cool software for customizing the experience on your website for selling. Um, yeah, so I hope you had a, enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving a like. Otherwise, have a great day. Hope to see you again soon.